into your heart, which is what courage relates to, according into the heart. When you go into your heart, you're fulfilled with love. And that love, as it fulfills you, allows you to wash away the fear and the tension through the concept of crying. Because crying has the clarity from the sea, the thoroughness of unlimitation from the R, and the activity of the from the Y. When one has cried, one has removed and cleansed their heart completely, and that leads to a state of ease. That ease is a peaceful, relaxed state where the tension has been washed away through the tears. That's it. Thank you for listening. If anyone wants to um, have access to that, they can speak to Heather maybe, and she can send them a link, and you can listen to it again many times. Thank you. I need that link. And to please do that afterwards. Um, to share your memories in that way. And we're going to take a moment now and bless the memories that you do have. It is hard to find peace and comfort in the midst of grief, and I know that many of you are grieving in a variety of different ways, especially when it follows the loss of someone so special and so suddenly. But part of finding that peace is knowing that the person that you love isn't gone, but has just gone to a different place. And he still continues, and the essence of who he is carries on close, and to have them nearby, to feel Henry's presence and love with you. And each memory is special, each one that you shared and those that you thought about while other people were sharing, they're special, because they not only tell you about Robert, but they also tell you about who you were in relationship to him, and who you will continue to be. We honor those who have died before us by living our lives to the best possible fullness that we are able to do. Henry contained the very breath and spirit of God as to each and every one of you. And we honor that by continuing forward and by living in that love that he cared so deeply about. I hope that you will feel close to him and feel his close presence and also, as you live your life, as you spread that love to others, you'll know that he's never left you, but is always with you. After you've written the thoughts on the paper, those papers are going to be burned, and then in a private time with just his family, as they scatter the ashes, your memories will be scattered with his ashes. So please, as this time ends, the formal part of our time ends, make sure that you write something and put it into the box. There's Keiko, Tabata. Just a little bit more about that love and that courage Who's that he cared so deeply about. Never seen he was a generous man, absolutely generous, marveled at humanness and, and was just so interested in people. The ultimate person to be cutting and, and doing things with hair because he was such an excellent listener and talker and you really felt like you had his full attention when you were with him. He was concentrating on you. And um, he used to tease me a lot because he used to, I'd walk in and he'd say, are you ready for your new name? And I'd say no and he'd say okay. Um, so, you know, we, we had that constant batter going back and forth. We would share books with each other and conversations. But mostly that great love that great love that we all live in, that we are all called to exist in. Part of the quote that you heard is, is um, and so some of you may not know this, he, he was quite a biblical student, and he read the Bible. And so that quote came, that, that that love is the law that we live in is directly from Scripture. And he believed that Scripture had a lot to teach us. And so I'm going to ask you today to take his word for it that we live in love. And there's um, a verse in Romans that talks about that if you are in that love, nothing can separate you. Beneath the days ahead in the comfort of a holy and certain hope and in the joyful expectation of being reunited with Henry, whom they love. There's you, Pin Lee, and uh, her sister. I'm now going to read a Jewish litany about remembering. In the rising of the sun... 
and in its going down we remember. In the blowing of the wind and in the chill of winter we remember. In the opening of buds and in the rebirth of spring we remember. In the blueness of the sky and in the warmth of summer we remember. In the rustling of the leaves and in the beauty of autumn we remember. In the beginning of the year and when it ends we remember. When we are weary and in need of strength, we remember. No, that's early. When we are lost and sick at heart, we remember. When we have joys we yearn to share, we remember. So long as we live, they too shall live. For they are now a part of us as we remember. So you think you're saying, I invite you to have a moment of silence to pray as you would pray. A long hair dresser, too, right? Mm -hmm. Or a little yeah. short hair. A mild hair dresser. Whatever you call it. But he's made up special to look just like the other guy. Yeah, that was just him there, passing by. <coughs> That's right, Robert. You busted. Look, he's got This is wrong. This yeah. is just so wrong. Robert Jr. is looking around like, this as is it wrong. is a little chilly here, look at this guy. there's a place. That Robert loved just down the street called the only place in town. They serve hot beverages. And um, if after you've shared a little bit of here, you can just leave your car and just wander down the street, or there may be parking down there too. But it was a place that he loved, and if you want to keep talking and sharing, it may keep you from going home with um, a chill. So um, that's, that's, that's an opportunity for place. you if you would like to keep sharing with one another. He really liked that's that. That's Gloria's best friend. Would that have been? No, the lady in the dark hair. In the sure and certain hope that we will be reunited, we oh, commend Henry to this, this new story? journey of love oh, and life, you that out? you may bring glory and honor yeah. to this life and the next. Go in peace. Amen. Now there's Robert with his wig and the big heavy set kind of. Yeah, see right there with the shiny jacket, yeah. See his back of his hair looks exactly like curly. Yeah. That's done up so he can keep long hair in there. Who's this guy? Looks like me. He actually looks like me. That's Hillary's daughter. That guy looks like me. That's right here. Yeah. The back of his hair. Watch him talk away. He knows this. No, no, no. She's talking about the story with everybody else is speaking Chinese. Hey, hey,
Thank you.